And while many of the big races have been decided, there are still two major questions that we've been waiting for yet to be answered. Yeah, first, Clay County State's Attorney's race still up in the air there. Mm -hmm. And then there's still no firm vote on the Johnson administration's signature real estate transfer mm -hmm. tax proposal that we've been talking about. So we got Marissa Perlman live in the studio following the results this morning as they're really still tabulating and coming into the newsroom. Yeah, absolutely. And these are the two big races we've been watching very closely mm -hmm. for weeks, even for months now. But let's start with that Cook County State's Attorney's race still very close at this hour. This would be the Democratic Party's nominee still too close to call this morning. But let's let's take a look at the numbers here as of this morning. Eileen O'Neill Burke with 51% of the votes to Clayton Harris coming in at 49% with 99% of precincts reporting. Now they're separated now by roughly 9,000 votes total. Now Harris addressed his supporters alongside his wife and two sons very late last night showing up at about 1030 to his own watch party. He and his supporters are hoping that his endorsement by the Cook County Democratic Party would put him over the top. But Eileen O'Neill Burke still had a narrow lead and of course we are still waiting for that official count this morning and while the winner of the Democratic primary will face a Republican and Libertarian challenger in November's race he or she is widely expected to win that seat. We've waited a long time for this day to come and it looks like we're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. <laughs> um, we're getting it's getting late uh, um, and and I think that uh, while the votes are still coming in, we have to make sure and we will make sure that every voice is counted and every voice is heard. Let's turn now to bring Chicago home. It is that controversial ballot question we've been following very closely. You're taking a look now at where the vote currently stands on this at last check with 98% of precincts reporting. It's nearly a 54% no to a 46% yes vote. Now this of course asked voters if the city council should be allowed to increase the real estate transfer tax on the sale of million dollar homes to help fight the city's homelessness. And while CBS News has not yet called this race, the no side leads by a large larger margin than in that state's attorney battle. And we, we may not know the final results in both races until later in this week because of those outstanding mail ballots, the number likely to swing things where we land for both of these big races. But we will be watching and we'll be keeping you posted as those numbers file in with those mail in ballots. So two big issues we've been following very closely here. Oh, guys. yeah. OK, so thanks for getting us up to date. I feel like it's just going to continue to tabulate. We appreciate those Absolutely. updates. Yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see. I know. OK, thank you.